after Colin is Donna Buckby. Yes, my name is Chuck Lee, and I'm here this afternoon, this afternoon speaking on behalf of the Friends of the Marsh, an organization that has been formed uh, to work and protect the marsh in all of its features. I'll make two points today, I'll be very brief. We uh, hope that the DNR denies this permit application within seven plus acres uh, of the marsh. If the DNR approves it, uh, we hope that the DNR uh, plans to spend all of the mitigation credits here rather than elsewhere. So those are the two points I'll make. First, this permit should be denied due to the cumulative, cumulative impact that it will have upon the environmental services provided by the marsh. Cumulative impact can be measured in two ways. One, project impact. Instead of considering this as one discrete standalone project, a piecemeal approach, it should be considered, as others have mentioned, along with the many other impacts up and down the river. Its impact upon the Mississippi, its impact upon the Cross River and a broader region, other wetlands included. Cumulative impact should also be measured historically. The state of Wisconsin has, since its inception in 1848, filled half of its wetlands across the state. Pioneers to Wisconsin wrote in their journals that you could walk from east to west, from the east coast to the west coast, and never get, never your feet would be dry. In the state. No longer true. Half the wetlands are gone. Here in La Crosse, half of this wetland has been sacrificed in half the time. It has been filled seven acres at a time, nine acres at a time, 20 acres at a time. Death by a thousand cuts. At what point, at what point does a rich, functioning wetland, functioning in so many ways, cease to function? as a rich, functioning wetland. We don't have an answer to that question. Secondly, my second point, is that the responsibility of those who regulate these things to minimize impacts, minimize construction impact, minimize wetland loss impacts, minimize environmental negative impacts, can, if this proposal, if this project goes forward, can be minimized if the mitigation credits that are purchased are spent here, where the damage has been done, where they should be spent. Thank you.